Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer and I tried to do this video with the live stream and it did not turn out so good because the Wi-Fi in this public library in downtown Madison, Wisconsin just keeps cutting in and out for me. This is why I don't visit this library that often anymore. But since I have to record this all over again, I'm going to record it to my iPhone and then upload it that way. So there's no interruptions or no uh, disconnect from Wi-Fi. So. This is shooting in 1080p, 60 frames a second, so I do apologize for the uh, for the video quality. I wanted to give you guys an update on my Lenovo Y700 in 2020. Now, I got this laptop in 2018, and August 2018, a couple of days before my birthday, and it's on this channel, you can look back on that, or I leave a, a card so you guys can look at that video. And you can see, over time, I have upgraded this laptop to make it more powerful, more efficient, more reliable, and much faster. I even undervolt my laptop. I'm gonna show you that in a quick second, but here was the video that I tried to do live and it just keeps cutting out. I just viewed it and it was pretty damn bad. That the Wi-Fi here is not reliable. And this is supposed to be the state of art library, but it's not a state of art library, uh, in my opinion, but I digress. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys my whole laptop setup. So this is the Y. 700 and as i said i had it since uh, 2018 of august i did a 2019 update and now i'm doing a 2020 update i want you guys to understand that like the whole purpose of this video is to have someone uh, understand why they should make a purchase now you can get this laptop probably cheap for like 500 600 bucks now but you're not going to get the hardware that i'm going to mention for 500 bucks so keep that in mind so this channel is mostly photography, editorials, tech news, and more. So this is, is tech related. So keep that in mind, this is tech related. So as a photographer and as a videographer that adds, I also do a lot of gaming. I also work for the city of Madison on the porch light. I also work for the UW. And right now this coronavirus thing is causing a lot of people to be out of work. And for me that works part time with both jobs, it's kind of difficult to make a living. So I got to rely on my photography. Even that is actually in shambles right now due to this coronavirus. So, uh, but today is March 14th. His is the date and time of this video. So, uh, I'm the Panda Photographer. Please do subscribe and like and share. If you are a photographer or you're interested in any tech-related hardware, I have it on this channel about gimbals, about lenses, about, about audio, and about OBS. If you guys haven't seen OBS video about the black screen fix, I figured it out. But anyway, I wanted to show you my laptop. All right, so you can see that I'm under Volton right now. Oops, it's not... Focus in. Hold on. There we are. We are zero, negative zero point one two, uh, one one two zero volts. I'm sorry. And as you can see, it is a pretty damn and reliable laptop. Now I do have Kingston HyperX uh, RAM, and I'm going to show you the hardware settings so you guys can see. This is my hardware settings right here. Kingston Hyper X 20 gigabytes of RAM. I got two SSDs. I took the normal, the mechanical hard drive out of this one because it was a piece of garbage. And I don't understand why Lenovo will put the recovery and the backup on one drive when it should have been on separate drives. I always recommend doing that. That was really silly. So I wasn't able to actually reinstall Windows or reinstall the current. Uh, windows that it came with on another SSD or hard drive. They kept giving me this error So I decided to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 Pro onto it. So but that's the hardware. So when I'm gaming it is reliable I game on medium. I mean t to low to medium settings to keep the frame rate up to between 35 and 75 FPS um, I do undervolt my CPU as I just showed you. I also use system mechanics to keep the lifespan of my laptop up to par and it also helps your laptops uh, keep performing much more better for much more longer. I've been using this software since 2002 when I first discovered it. 
I have not. In, on this channel, you can see me talk about system mechanics, and you can see me discuss that it's a reliable uh, software for your PCs or laptops. I definitely recommend uh, do uh, downloading the 30-day trial and purchasing a year a uh, year trial um, to see how that works out for you for the year. Um, I use OBS to do my live streams. I have my professional camera plugged in, in and to my laptop where I'm going to boot up OBS so you guys can see the display so you can know that it's actually working. So as yes, you can see the display. I normally use my H4N Pro as my audio interface device because I monitor my audio when I'm doing live streams and also monitor my audio when I'm editing. Now the JBL speakers on here are fantastic, mind you. Uh, the drivers for the audio drivers that is in the 3.5 jack is good too, really good. Because when I plug my skull canes up to it with the 3.5 jack cable, I can hear footsteps in the background. I can hear what someone's actually. Uh, this is Apex Legends, by the way. When I'm playing that game, I can hear people in the background. I can hear people uh, refilling the uh, the shield cells and or gunfire in the distance. Really reliable. Now, the issue that I'm having with the laptop that concerned me was the screws. Now. I clean my laptop every 30 days. I clean up the dust. I use a rocket blower that I normally use for my cameras, right? But the problem that I'm having was the, the mysterious disappearance of screws that are missing. Now, I am no dummy, but I'm sure you that these screws are coming out on their own. I have to make sure every like five days that they don't come out. And just this morning, this screw was coming loose for some pair of reason. I don't know why that is. Because I do go in here and clean out my laptop to make sure that there's no dust coming through this filter. And I also clean out the dust from the fans and the hardware to keep it nice and clean and pristine. As you can see, I keep my laptops very clean and pristine condition. Uh, and as you can see, you can see how the material is clean. I clean it with this type of microfiber cloth. I damp it a little bit with cold water, just a slight bit. And what I do is just, just do this. Because this thing is full of fingerprints. It, it, it attracts, it does attract a lot of fingerprints. Especially on the keyboard. And if you have greasy hands, oh yeah, you can definitely see it. So, other than that, um, yeah. Other thing is that sometimes when I'm using the the touchpad it, it as you can see it's it's accurate it's fast it's fast well it's fast and accurate but I don't like how when I click the right and left this is too deep so this is why I use a external third-party Logitech G602 lab mouse but even this mouse they say there's zero lag. It's not actually really zero lag. There is some lag because I did make a couple of videos about this showing that it does lag. But other than that, I love the fact that I wish more laptops came with power cables designed like a USB. Now in Japan, they have been doing this for a, more than a decade now with laptops and for good reason because the old style charging uh, cables or bricks had an issue and I always used to break that and always used to break the inside with this since 2018 of August I never had an issue with this I think this is well better designed and I wish more laptops would do this type of uh, charging brick style cable like a USB I forgot what they call it too it's right on my tip of my tongue I just can't get it out right now uh, I'm not still not a big fan of the red keyboards but when I do select the red keyboards I put on the lowest light settings because that does attract heat now uh, for one I do want to say a couple of things first of all I always maintenance my computer every day to keep this up running really fast and efficient. I keep it running constantly. 
because I'm always editing photos and I'm always editing video for YouTube content. So is it enough for YouTube editing? Yes, it is enough. If you want a little bit more juice, yes, you're gonna have to dish out a little bit more money and buy a, a, a recent new Y730, which I do recommend, but even that one has some power issues because this one doesn't really have power issues. It's just the battery life kind of sucks on this one, but the battery life on the Y730 is good, better than this one, but has some bottlenecking issues. Uh, and I, that's probably due to BIOS. Uh, if I show you guys right now the boot up time, let's restart. Let's restart everything so you guys can see the, the boot up time. It's pretty damn fast because I'm only using SSDs. I only prefer SSDs. I don't really like mechanical hard drives anymore. Back in the day, yes, mechanical hard drives or the black Western digital hard drives were the shit. But just pay attention. That's the BIOS. Boom. It's loading. Windows already. <laughs> It's loading Windows already, which is insane, which makes it more ideal, and it's fast boot time every single time. So, and logging in is a breeze, and I, I, I do love this laptop. Now, I'm not going to be updating the laptop any soon, maybe for another year for now, because, you know, new laptops are coming out with better hardware and better specs, but with better power saving options uh, and I do want to keep it see how everything just boots up right back to where I left it off I like that I had to set that up in Windows uh, you may want not set that up but I set that up but I don't have things running in the background either that's how my computer is running so efficient now I do turn on CC cleaner I'm not using my printer right now so I can turn that off and uh, as it is out uh, but other than that, it's a great laptop. I had to dis I had to change the display too. First of all, there's a 1080 1080p 60 frames a second display. I switched it for to a 4K display, uh, and I think you guys will like this laptop in 2020. Uh, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it for anyone. I'm just giving you my guys my my experience and my usage with this for the almost. A year and a half August 2020 would be two years that I had this laptop and it's been working I was fine ever since for me but if you come across this laptop on Craigslist or eBay for a good price I definitely recommend picking it up but pick it up if you're going to be upgrading the laptop to SSDs and better RAM because the RAM that came with it wasn't quite stable I noticed that I would get constantly some crashes sometimes while gaming or doing something on the computer or using Adobe Premiere. It would crash. And I realized that I need to switch out the RAM. So I got the Kingston HyperX 2400 megahertz. And ever since I updated the, the RAM, it's been working perfectly fine without any crashes. So the RAM, I don't know why Innovo selected that, but that was really a test they should have tested thoroughly. They should have really tested that fairly and thoroughly. I, I'm saying that word wrong. No, 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 no. They should have tested correctly because there was unstableness with that RAM they they installed with these seven Y700 laptops. I don't recommend using those RAM. Switch it out. Okay. Make sure that it's a powerful one. But other than that, guys. Um, what else I gotta say about the laptop? The speakers are amazing. The JBL speakers are woof, woof, woof. Well, I don't even use it that much, but when I do, people are like, is that your laptop? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, damn, that sounds like a sound system. I'm like, that's the Y700, baby. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, as you can see, the display is crispy. That's my photos. I take my own photos. I display my own photos. So, but other than that, guys, um, I have to record this video over because I did a live stream recorded and the live right here is not reliable so you know it kept cutting in and out and so I have to record this from my laptop now but anyway I just want to share this with you guys so you guys understand why I'm making this update video so you now you know what gear that I'm still currently working with as a photographer a videographer and as a consultant doing outreach and 
doing a bunch of advocates for like homeless uh, organizations uh, and stuff like that. But uh, NUW doing some stuff on campus. Um, but with that said, everyone, uh, the brick is fine. No abuse to the brick. As you can see, I keep my laptop in pristine condition. I will sell it like this too with all the hardware, but it's going to cost a little bit more money out of your pocket in the future. Uh, I might be updating this to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I am probably am going to because uh, I use a lot of the After Effects. So, uh, yeah, probably am going to. But I am going to install new SSDs in here uh, in the future, so keep that in mind. But I never had a problem with the hinge. So a lot of, uh, not a lot of people, but some people said they had problems with this hinge. I've never had the problem with the hinge almost two years into making having this laptop. I never had a problem uh, because I don't, I take care of my things. That's the whole point. Most people that have laptops do not take care of their laptops. They just throw it in the bag. They don't care for it. And when they do, they put stickers over it. And stickers, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you think about it, stickers actually... Uh, maintain heat inside your laptop. If you're putting stickers all over your laptop, you know, you're causing your laptop to not release that heat properly because stickers has this kind of like material that, you know, it sticks to lap it sticks to your laptop, right? But that material, it's like, it's like a sheet wall of metal. It's, the heat will just bounce off it and just go right back to your hardware. You don't want that. I learned the lesson that way. So keep in mind, you, you kind of want to use less stickers on your laptop. Now, I do have badges for the hardware that I'm using inside the laptop. But I don't put any other stickers. I like mine to be clean, elegant, good looking. So if I do want to sell it to someone, people are like, wow, you kept the laptop in very good condition. And yeah, that's how I want my laptops to be. But the Y700 is still good in 2020. I recommend picking it up for your kids or someone that's new to gaming or wants to just game on doing other games instead of not playing Apex Legends or or League of Legends or Battlefield like I do. Yes, but everything I play is on low to medium settings, so I got that nice FPS. Uh, and I always game with the power plug plugged in. But keep in mind, I also did a few other things to my laptop, which helps the laptop perform much faster, which is I optimize my windows so everything runs smoothly. So there's tutorials about how to optimize windows for your PC or your laptops, but I digress on that part. But that's that to be a whole new video that I have to show you guys what I did and that would take forever because that's probably a 40 minute video and I have to explain why I did that. But other than that, that, other than that, guys, it's been pretty damn amazing with the laptop. Uh, if Nova wants to see me a, a laptop they want me to test, I, I, I'm all in. I'm all in. But I'm doing this at the public library because I don't have Wi-Fi at home. Me and you, you, we do not use, she's my roommate and she's a student, medical student at UW. We don't use Wi-Fi at home because we, we try to save money. And right now we are trying to figure out how we're gonna make money in the next two weeks because we got, we were told today that uh, we could go home and they shut down the university. Uh, they keep it in, the more you union and self open, but there's no need for us to work because of the outbreak and they're afraid that the outbreak is going to affect us. So, and they want us to get tested too. So, and I don't mind getting tested for the coronavirus. I'm not sick. I'm sick of people that want to abuse me all the time. Yes, but I'm not sick. <laughs> but with that said, everyone, I hopefully you like this video and it, and it shares some light on my, my gear. But yeah, yeah. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'm the Panda Photographer. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. I got links to some of the hardware to the laptop that you could buy for your own laptop if it's compatible. But SSDs and everything, I'll link it down in the description below so you guys can check that out. But feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to support this channel, I have a PayPal donation link. You can support me that way so we can keep the lights on for this channel. Um, yeah, and 
eat, sleep, photography, gaming, technology, and repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. Guys, take care. Happy shooting.